Welcome to Winning the Game of Life. I'm your host, Shan Chhabra. I'm very excited today because I got a very special guest with me today. His name is Ken Dunn. He is CEO, CEO and founder of Next Century Publishing and Reader's Legacy. Welcome to the show, Ken. Hey, thanks a lot, Sean. It's a pleasure to be here with you. Wonderful, wonderful. I'm really, really, really happy that you could spare some time for us. And maybe certain percentage of my viewers and listeners already know who you are. And probably they know at least your Century Publishing and Reader's Legacy. But how about you start and tell viewers and readers who you are, you know? Oh, thanks. I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that, Sean. I'm, uh, as you're going to hear in my voice sooner or later, I'm Canadian. Uh, I co-reside both in, here in Las Vegas, Nevada at our company's headquarters and up in Toronto, Canada with my family. Um, but I'm, uh, I'm an average guy with a big heart and a, and a huge hunger. I love books. I uh, started my adult life as a police detective in Canada for the first 14 years from 18 until uh, 32. I was involved in major crime and serious crime investigations. Uh, when I was 27, I was the chief interrogator of a police department. I spent three years interrogating uh, suspects of major crimes. When I was 29, I found out that uh, I was going to become a dad. My wife was pregnant. We were expecting our first child. And I decided that I didn't want to raise kids uh, in that profession. I didn't want to have all the crap of the world always in my head. And uh, I didn't know what to do, so I went to a friend and asked for his advice. I said I knew I needed to start a business, and he suggested that I read a book. Uh -huh. Shawnee told me to read The Greatest Salesman in the World by Og Mandino. Have you ever read that book? Yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's amazing. It's, it, it, but when I read the book, I, I couldn't stop reading it. I realized from reading it that the skills that Og said were the skills of the world's elite salespeople were the same skills that I had perfected in interrogating people. <laughs> I know it sounds odd, but just go with me here. It started a deep love for books. In the next 15 years after that, I've read more than a thousand books on personal development, leadership, business, sales, marketing. And over the last 15 years, I've started four different businesses from scratch. The first was a mortgage company. I started it while I was a police officer. Within three years, we funded 300 million in mortgages and my, that company was acquired from me. Um, I went from dead broke at 28 to financially free at 31. Wow. Then I went into network marketing. Now I know as, as odd as that sounds, I was one of the people that everybody hears about. In, in 10 years in network marketing, I made over $14 million, traveled all over the world. I wrote three books on sales and marketing, and that led me to starting my publishing company in 2008. And now today, I'm blessed to run one of America's fastest growing publishing companies. We publish books in every genre. We have over 800 titles in bookstores. And we specialize in helping entrepreneurs who are small business owners to radically increase their expertise by using a book as a branding tool. Wow, what an intro. I was, I'm mesmerized, I'm lost, I'm still trying to digest. <laughs> you read a thousand books and from a police <laughs> interrogator, now you're, a, you're in publishing business, you know? What a journey. Yeah, it's been amazing. You know what I realized reading those books, Sean? It's, I know you're an avid reader too. Um, by reading books of great people, you are essentially grabbing the most important parts of all of their wisdom. And if you know, not just read, but study the books, you are in essence getting all of the best parts of all of their learning. So those, those books I've read have helped me to build four businesses and the companies have grossed over 750 million in revenue. And today I even consult Fortune 500 companies, help the CEOs of those companies run their corporations, all because of stuff I've read in books. Very nice. Like, I, actually, I tell people how you learn anything in your life. When you're born, you, you learn how to crawl and how to walk and talk from other people's experiences, your parents, your siblings. Then you go to school, you're learning from your teacher's experiences. Your teacher is learning the, learning from the books. That is somebody else's thinking and writing, you know? Right. So, so, so reading the books and surrounding yourself with the wiser people 
and grasping their knowledge so that way you are avoiding a lot of mistakes and learning from them but right. but at the same time i just noticed you said like you you help entrepreneurs get get branded get, get like a celebrity status by writing the books what well, what is that just just tell us a little more because most of our listeners and viewers either they are already like a small business or they are about to start uh, start a business or their their entrepreneurial journey you know uh, because of all of my experience in sales and prospecting and and building businesses i've become somewhat of an expert on prospecting and growth and prosperity and as i'm teaching people about the secrets to prospecting i get a chance to help folks to understand that people won't buy anything from you unless they know you like you and trust you it's an age old adage well if you write a good book about the things that you know about and that book is published and put out to the universe and put into bookstores it in essence is raising your expertise so people your new customers or your future customers are going to see you more so as an expert because you're a published author and the trust that they have in you will grow exponentially and if they trust you more they're going to do business with you more often so so basically you don't have to do any selling you don't have to do any convincing the minute you walk somewhere in a meeting or in their office or somewhere they they their unconscious mind is going to perceive and assume that you know everything Right. Actually, I'll give you one of one of my trademark is like a author means authority. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly right. As an example, this is my latest book. It's called The Greatest Prospector in the World. Uh-huh. It's a fiction story, but it teaches sales skills in it. When I go into a meeting and I hand this book to my client, immediately their Im- the impression of me grows exponentially because I'm a published author. Now, what's in this book has to be good quality. And yes. so we we really help authors to develop elite level quality content for their books because the worst thing that can happen is if you hand somebody a book and you're doing that in order to establish your expertise but the book sucks uh-huh. <laughs> that will work against you too. Uh-huh. But, but but most of the people like I don't know maybe say, is, is there some kind of fear in the mind or they have like unconscious issues they say number one i don't know anything and and who want to read my content and i even don't know how to write so they they, they have so much negativity like they they even don't want to take the first step towards writing yeah that's exactly right you know one of my books that i wrote which is this little book right here is called learn how to write a book in 2 hours it's 120 pages long it's available on amazon and in that book i demystify uh those things that you're actually talking about If you can have a conversation with another person, you're actually writing the book as you talk. And all you have to do is record it and have it transcribed. There are many techniques that somebody can use to create the right content for their books. It's a very simple process. But it it all starts with understanding. Yeah, is is I think is is just the mindset. You know, once once you once you really know you want to do this and you will figure out how to do it. right and, and i always tell people like forget the business you have or the person you are you want to promote even if you let us say one year from today you want to start let us say solar like a solar roofing business for example just for the discussion purpose and if you write a book now like explaining why 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 people should be doing and how they should be doing and later on you just launch that business So before you even launch the business you are already known expert in the industry. Correct. Well it's it's it, you know the greatest example I can use is my publishing company. One of the reasons that it's growing so fast is that I am a best selling author. My mm-hmm. next book The Greatest Prospector in the World we sold through 20,000 copies of the book 5 weeks before the launch. It's going to re- it's now we had to change the launch to February. and it's going to be in every Barnes and Nobles in in America. We'll sell 100,000 copies of that book next year. I've sold 250,000 copies of my previous books. And so people come and work with my company because they know that it's owned by somebody who's an actual author. It's about expertise. 
so 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 th this book just help you to get, like like a, get the foot in the door or or it also help you find a newer customer by itself like some lead generation or something when you have a book that is well written then people who don't know you are going to share it with other people who don't know you in the back of the book there's a bio about you and so every time somebody reads that and they see your expertise and they know what it's all about then they're going to google you then they're going to find your authority website and they're going to contact you wow how easy that is <laughs> that that's that's amazing to know you know but 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 let let, let us get back to your personal life you know like I, i'm so happy i found you we met and I, i'm learning a lot and i'm sure my listeners and viewers will be connecting with you and we will be putting all the links and all the information on the website so that they can found, find you and maybe they can get your help or guidance or maybe they can give some of the work to your company so that so that is ultimately helping them to write and get published faster so that right. they can grow their business but i still want to know a little more about like your journey your personal journey like 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 you have done so much like you grow from one to another business to another business so 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 like you you uh, you have many businesses right now or just one business no i i have um three different businesses right now two of them are related one is next century publishing which uh -huh. is the publishing company that's growing so fast another is readerslegacy.com uh -huh. readerslegacy.com was an idea that i had 5 years ago in essence we've created a platform a, a website that is like facebook meets amazon. Uh -huh. It's a social media website where everybody in the world who loves books can go and create a free account and they can build a virtual version of their home library. Now for entrepreneurs, this is an incredibly important website to be a part of because by people seeing the books that you're reading and what you've read in your past, it further helps to enhance your expertise. And so you can literally create a page that looks like a Facebook page. You can add uh every book you've ever read in your life to it, and you can follow other authors, you can follow other people, you can write posts every day, and it's a large bookstore. We sell over 15 million books. We sell as many books as Amazon. So and for everything you do, you get points that you can use to buy books for free. So so for example I read this book somebody else read this book so so we are like a surrounding and getting connected also with people who like minded books you do absolutely wow what what an amazing platform so is, is this a new platform you just created or how yeah we, so we're obviously doing our interview in october of 2015 we only launched the platform in july of 2015 it's only been live for 3 months it took us 2 years to build it Uh, we have 14 full-time employees, programmers, and developers, and uh, we've invested so far about three million dollars in building this website. So, how many hours you work every day? Uh, about 16 or 17 hours. I'm actively involved in doing something to create more growth and prosperity for my family. It's not work, though. When you truly find your passion or your calling, the essence of work disappears from your life. I'm in I'm involved in projects that I'm passionate about that I'll spend the rest of my life pursuing. I I I in one of my book actually earlier I wrote before you even think of doing a business you have to think at least you'll be working half a day and I tell them go to wikipedia and see a day is 24 hours. So so half a day is 12 hours hour is a minimum requirement like you like your right. work or not they should be doing that but if you love your work 12 hours is nothing you you want to work 16 hours. Look, I love to talk about books. I'm having a conversation with you right now about the thing that I love the most in my life. Well, of course I love God first and then my wife and then my kids and then books, but it's I'm very passionate about books. The, how people can grow from reading, how writing a book and publishing can help an expertise. So I could talk about books for 20 hours a day. Oh, well, not only that, when you talk about your passion and all these books you're talking, like I can see like the energy and emotion and and how is coming in the words like like you you just want to deliver that with 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 that enthusiasm you know absolutely so 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 that's that's so nice so nice so 
but but you you are also like a leadership coach or something are you in leadership into leadership yeah that's absolutely right so uh, i of course over the last 15 years i've led major international organizations um i've spoke at events in front of crowds as large as 20 and 30,000 people about leadership two of my books are leadership books and so today i work with uh c level executives and owners of companies and i personally coach them on how to lead their organizations how to have a values based leadership model built into their business that that will inevitably increase the prosperity of their businesses very nice yeah. and how about yeah. like like you you are also like a like a sales expert yeah. because of your network business and all those businesses you have done so what do you say like what are the secrets of like success in sales well the, the sec- my opinion is the, the biggest secret uh the uh, the secrets of the elite level sales people in the world is that they're not sales people there's actually a difference um the elite level are prospectors you see the elite level sales people in the world the people that make millions of dollars of doing it they're not worried about closing people it's a very very different mindset than average sales people they're worried about connecting with people they focus all of their efforts on prospecting people on identifying who the right clients are on identifying where the right clients are on building the best personal brand body mind and spirit being healthy looking physically attractive talking intelligently and so they develop the best person they can be and they go into the areas where they know that their ideal prospects are and they spend all their time connecting and when they connect with somebody and that person really starts to like them the sale happens on its own this is a very different mindset than 95% of sales people in the world the 5% who are the elite sales people are the greatest prospectors in the world very nice very nice so l- l- let us come back to the books one more time i have like a, we are reaching very close to the end of the show but i really want to ask some of these important things because these are going to help all the listeners and viewers mm-hmm. in addition to your books for your books i will be putting all the information on the website in addition to your own book can you recommend a couple of other books for people to read yeah well it really depends let's just focus on your entrepreneur clients uh-huh. um if somebody wants to start a business my personal opinion there's a couple of books that are absolutely fundamental for them to read if they go to my readers legacy page readerslegacy.com and uh-huh. go to ken dunn's library there's a list of my five favorite books there uh-huh. and there for entrepreneurs one of them is called the founder's dilemma by noam wasserman noam wasserman did his phd at princeton by studying hundreds of american founders and startup people why they failed why they succeeded and he put it all in one book and it's amazing peter thiel wrote a book called 0 to 1 and it's about identifying what are world changing ideas in startups um there's another book called the lean startup it's about running a business and being financially smart in doing so and then of course the greatest book ever on business is called the greatest prospector in the world <laughs> <laughs> we know that <laughs> <laughs> no if you check out my uh, readers legacy page the uh-huh. five books that are in my favorites are my recommendations of the greatest books for people to read actually i'll pull all those five books and put all the references on 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 the web web page of your interview actually oh you know? thank you that will be a big help to the listeners and viewers at least at least they can really see what we are talking here like listening and watching is one thing but like they can click and go and buy some books or listen to those books sure uh, otherwise we can talk all day it's not going to help anybody unless somebody take a take some action Yeah, absolutely. Well, if they're going to buy the books, tell them to stop going to Amazon and go to Readers Legacy instead. Readerslegacy.com, the books are cheaper and you get points like airline points or Delta points. You get points that you can use to buy free books. Oh, I I thought their people can just connect and just have library and chat oh, oh. and have fun so they can even no, buy the books. It's a real bookstore. We're selling over 15 million books. Okay, so publicly i should be asking you this question like like 
most of the podcasters like me or all the bloggers podcasting is nothing but a new, it's a newest form of blogging all yep. the bloggers and podcasters are opening affiliate account with the amazon and just that's how they are trying to monetize so would you like to tell other podcasters and bloggers if they can have an affiliate account with you guys or how that works do you guys have that's- anything Absolutely, we are launching an, an entire affiliate program in the next two months. So that you have only the print copies and e-copies, e-books, or do you also going to provide like Audible, like audio books? We do audio books, we do audio downloads, we do printed books, we do e-books, we do marketing services, advertising services, everything. Okay, if 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 your information is not ready now, please do email me that. so that i can send the email to all my subscribers and my co podcasters because they are always Absolutely. looking for these kind of resources everybody is not in love with amazon Absolutely. This is a this is an incredible opportunity and a viable alternative to amazon. I'll be happy to do that for you. Very good. What a find. That that's that's very good. So so before i let you go i still have like if you can tell us like couple of your habits which may have helped you to succeed in life and business yeah so there's a couple things that are extremely important to understand number 1 it's hunger you have to be hungry you have to have a deep passion for whatever it is you're doing there's no secret to being successful in business and the actually the only secret is that there is no secret it takes a lot of energy a lot of work and thick skin if you want to be successful. So if you're thinking about starting a business, find something that you're already very passionate about. Like my love for books. That way regardless of what I'm doing, whether my business is going well or not, I won't ever give up because it's such a deep passion for me. Number 2, never ever believe yourself. I have a a technique that I teach to entrepreneurs and it's a technique that they can use to build a better business or to if they have an idea for a business it's a technique that they can use to ensure that their business will be successful it's called the dove technique okay. dove is an acronym d stands for dreaming dreaming and thinking and getting your ideas growing is incredibly important the o stands for organize that means if you have an idea for a business write a real business plan a business plan should be thorough should be 40 or 50 pages long should have demographic research and competitive analysis and product analysis number 3 the v stands for validate once your business plan is done go out to the industry that you're in find an expert that's already in the industry and ask him to review your business plan get his opinion validate that you have a good idea don't believe yourself because most often people get so excited about their ideas that they start businesses and they don't even know if it's profitable. They don't even know if their idea has already been tried before or not. So take the time to validate with an expert. And then of course the E stands for execute. Get to work. And if entrepreneurs really want to succeed, then they have to attract talented people around them in order to do that. Okay guys, if you want to start a business, follow the do. <laughs> That's right. Okay, very good. Uh, we are very honored and we are very happy that you came to the show. And I'm sure my listeners and viewers will be telling me to invite you one more time and I'll get back to you when I see the feedback and hopefully you will spare some time again for us. And I thank you very much and looking forward to speaking with you again. Uh, it's you. been a pleasure to be here with you. Thanks a lot, Sean. Thank you. Bye. Do not throw that old phone away. Your trash may be hidden gold. We want your old device and will pay top dollar for it. Our process is as easy as 1 2 3. We offer no obligation sales. If you have a problem with the price that we gave you, we will return the device to you at no charge. Fast payment, free shipping, free data wipe, risk-free transaction. buybackqueen.com